I wanted to be a mom and I hadn't found the right person to marry. So um, I went through adoption. I listed a couple of special needs and um, I would say within a few months of doing that, I got a call like at three o'clock in the morning and they said, I have your daughter, you have 48 hours to decide. And they sent me this file of this child and um, I hadn't heard of the heart defect. It was endocardial cushion defect. And then I had a pediatrician and a cardiologist look over it. And I said, as a single mom, would this be something that I could handle? Um, and they said, yes. She was going into third grade and I told her cardiologist in San Antonio, I said, I think there's something going on. And they did all the tests, they couldn't find anything. So finally, her pulmonologist had this whole time last couple of years in San Antonio told me, Jimmy, I think you need to see a different cardiologist. I really want you to get a different opinion. She recommended Dr. Frazier and Dr. Mary here in Austin. And we, we were like, okay, we met with them, we liked them, we decided this is where Grace was gonna have surgery like in November. Um, unfortunately, she didn't make it. She had her cardiac arrest September 18th. She got her pump September 24th. And then she had her stroke October 18th. And then the first time she remembers being awake is no. Uh, November 4th and she says that we were walking in this thing she did rehab and she beautifully she got out um, we were released um, from the hospital December 23rd um, and then we got to go back home to San Antonio January 7th or something right before she started school she had another stroke December 8th and then she was airlifted from San Antonio to Austin. We got the call on January 25th, early in the morning, that she got a heart. And on January 26th, Grace received her hero heart of life. What's life been like since your transplant? How have things changed? I had walked from the upstairs all the way to the science building, which is far. far. Mm -hmm. And go back upstairs in time for the bell. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. <laughs> a lot more energy. Yeah. Yeah. What are your career goals and dreams? What do you what do you want to do when you grow up? I want to I want to be a biomedical engineer and fix the bad. I don't want anyone to have don't don't go through what I had to. Amazing. <laughs> uh, do you have any words of encouragement that you'd like to share with other families who are on a similar uh, journey? In the darkness? You can find the light. I was hopeful, and I found the light by getting my heart. Yep, you did. Yeah. Yep. So if you got those little voices that are saying, mm, maybe something's really wrong, keep pursuing it. It's okay to get second opinions. That's what I wish someone had told me. We're thankful that uh, the American Heart Association has this um, to support research and to support um, stroke and heart patients like Grace. You know, heart. The heart? Heart. Heart. Causes the brain. Yeah, heart and brain. Those two are, are uh, really I'm connected. Yeah, they're not. We gotta take care of them. Both of them. And we need to support because. that. We need, we need, we need support and more knowledge. And we appreciate anybody who helps the American Heart Association.